GoToConnect is the easiest cloud phone system to set up, and I'm about to show you why. My name is Brian Ferrario with Alliance Technology Partners, and I'm going to give you a quick overview on how easy it is to set up inbound call flow with GoToConnect. And if you're looking for a phone system for your business, make sure to watch the entire video. Inbound call flow is handled through the dial plan editor. And when someone dials a phone number of yours, that's where this starts. So you want to look at the start uh, icon here and everything is a graphic user driven. So you can uh, create different modules here on the left and drag and drop them onto the dial plan editor. So if an inbound call comes in and you want um, it to ring a, a person in your business, you will just drag over a simple dial and uh, you'll choose the person uh, extension in here. And what you'll do is you'll, all you have to do is draw, I'll create a little link between the start and that simple dial. So when a call comes in, um, it'll go right to a simple dial. It'll ring a person or a ring group. And then if they do not pick up, you can have a subsequent action. So let's say if no one's there, you want an auto attendant to come on with a pre-recording uh, to give them options, on, uh, give the caller options on uh, what they, uh, you know, who they can route to or different, you know, options to different groups. So you can uh, connect these two together and uh, we can create a sound clip for that auto attendant. So that auto attendant might say, welcome to Alliance Technology Partners, press one for sales, press two for customer service, press three for billing, or press four for a dial by name directory. So you just add these options here. So you, let's just create four options. And um, let's say we want uh, sales to be one. So maybe we have a sales group. So we may have a queue. Uh, set up for that group. So maybe it's, uh, you know, 50 people, 10 people, five people, it can go into a call queue. And, uh, you know, next available person could set that up. So we can make that option one, and you would just put one here, then you could create a customer service number. Maybe that's just one person that handles customer service. You can do what they call line and voicemail over here. And what that does is it'll call that line, whoever that is that's in charge of customer service. And if they do not answer, then it rolls over to their voicemail. So we can connect that here and make that option two. Um, and then let's say the last, the third one is uh, customer service. So we uh, do the same here. Um, it could be a call queue or a line um, and you just connect the line over to that module, press number type number three here. And then the last one was a dial by name directory. So there is a little module for directory and you'll just drag the directory over here and uh, connect over to the directory and press Four, or you can put, if it's, uh, you want them to hit pound, you can uh, put in the, uh, the pound sign. You can even receive faxes with GoToConnect using the virtual fax function. And you can even fax, uh, receive faxes on regular voice phone numbers. So in this dial plan, we can add a fax by uh, detecting a fax uh, and moving that start uh, arrow over to detecting fax. And then from here, continue on that same dial plan that we created if there is nobody calling from a fax. Um, you can also have different, different behavior depending on whether you're open or closed or any type of schedule that you may have. So you can uh, collect, uh, use one of these modules called schedule. And in the regular part of the PBX, you can say, okay, we're open from eight to five. And after that, we're closed. So we can uh, start with the schedule here. Then when you're open, we can have it go to a simple dial and ring somebody's phone. And then when you're closed, you can have a whole other set of behavior. So you, you can have another dial plan uh, over here so that our auto tenant over here. So if you're closed, you can have the, give the caller some different options, or you can just do the same options uh, as well and just have them go to voicemail instead of line and voicemail. So you're not disturbing anybody on their, maybe their voice over IP phone at their house or on their mobile device. So we can just have 
uh, all these options, same options, but have uh, have them go to voicemail, uh, straight to voicemail instead of actually calling someone. And then uh, the, they can get back with them uh, when they get into the office the next morning. You can also create sound clips and just interject sound clips um, with different messaging as well. Um, you'll just uh, drag over a sound clip. So maybe, um, maybe you know, if they're closed, uh, you may want to have a you know a explanation as to what your your hours are or some some type of pre-announcement read to the caller. Um, you can do that and just have the uh, call flow after that. You can also modify caller ID, and this is a great function, uh, especially within these certain groups here. So, and you can move these modules around just for visual purposes. But let's say uh, someone presses one for sales. And uh, a lot of people in small businesses have different functions, and it's good to know why someone's calling before they call. Um, so we can just type in uh, sales as far as the modification of the caller ID and uh, drag um, this little arrow over here and connect it this way. And then when a call comes in, the beginning of the caller ID will see, will see sales, and then it will show the regular uh, phone number that they're calling from. I hope you found this information helpful. Alliance can help you negotiate the best deal with GoToConnect. We may even be able to give you free VoIP phones when you sign up, so you can get an enterprise class phone system at no upfront cost. In addition, the experts here at Alliance can help you set up the entire phone system to help your organization sound very professional to your customers and your prospects. For more information, please call us at 888-891-8885, option two, or email us at info at alliancetechpartners.com. If you like this content, please like and subscribe below. Thank you.